Hi friends, welcome to Offer Studies YouTube channel. This is part 5 in Azure Synapse Analytics Real Time Scenarios playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to read files from multiple folders and also how to traverse the folders recursively using the Synapse SQL. So, there are two scenarios which we are going to discuss. The first scenario is if you want to read files from multiple folders, how to do that? And the second scenario is traverse the folder recursively that means in a root folder if you have multiple subfolders i want to read the files from all that subfolders how to do that so the prerequisite for this video is please watch part 26th video of azure synapse analytics playlist why because in that video we have explained about this open row set function we are going to use this open row set function in the synapse sql to read the data from the files so let's go to the next slide. So first scenario we are going to discuss is how to read all files from multiple folders. That means if, if files are available in multiple folders then how to read that. So let me go to browser now. Let me minimize everything and in the chrome browser I have already opened my synapse workspace. And here let me navigate to the data menu. Under data menu azure data lake storage gen 2 tab will be there and this is where the linked data lake storage of the synapse that means i have every time you create a synapse workspace you have to link a data lake storage account right that data lake storage account will appear here and you see there is something called sample container this is actually container or file system of that particular storage account now inside this sample container uh, i have two folders if you see here emp 2022 09 and another folder is emp folder 2022-0907 if i go if i go inside this folder i have a file called employee1.csv so let me right click and preview the data inside this employee1.csv file i have totally three employees here employee id 1 2 3 remember this so inside this folder we have three employees inside this file now let's go back to the container and i am opening the next another folder now and here we have employee 2 and employee 3 csv files and if i preview the data from the employee 2 file here i have employee id is 456 in a different folder we have employee id is 123 and here we have 456 and here we have another file as well so let me right click and preview this also so 78 so totally if i will be able to take the data from all these two folders that means from this folder and from this folder then I will be getting the employee IDs of information from 1 to 8 because all 8 employees span across 3 files and 3 files are there, 2 files are there in this folder, uh, sorry 1 file is in this folder, 2 files are in this folder. So I, I got a requirement now, I should write a query that takes data from these 2 folders at the same time, how to do that. So let me go to development menu here and let me select this plus sign SQL script. And this is SQL script now connected with a built-in serverless SQL pool. So let me write a query select star from and if you have seen part 26th video you know that we should use the open row set function to read the data from the files directly using the SQL capabilities. So for this open row set function you need to pass certain parameters. The first thing is bulk keyword to the bulk keyword you have to give the path of the location. So now if I go back to my sample container, so let's select this folder and let me go to the properties of this folder for now and let's try to copy this URL. Let me hit cancel. Let me go back to the SQL script here and here let me paste the path. If I do this, it is going to take all the files from this folder. So what I want, I want to take all the files from both the folders, multiple folders. And one common thing is here is both the folders starts with EMP. So what we can do it here is if you can use like this EMP then after EMP whatever it is there I don't care. So take every folder which starts with EMP and here I added this slash. Adding this slash is important with that only Synapse SQL will come to know that like it is a folder. If you don't add this slash it will think like it's a file. Okay. So if it is a folder please add it. So now this wildcard entry is going to take data from the multiple folders, all the folders which starts with EMP. 
now i want to take all the csv files so i will be using a format equals to csv and then if it is a csv we should use the parser version parser version 2.0 and in my all csv files i have the header row that means first row is m columns so we should use this header row equals to true also and let's try to return this like employee rows employee rows result set okay so now let me execute this query and we'll see whether we will be able to take all the eight employees from all the folders or not that means three files totally eight employees if you see we are able to get all the eight employees if you are not making sense of this result let me do one thing let me use order by employee id column and now let me hit this execute button or run button to run this query once again now if you see id column all eight employees we got it that means we were able to read the data from both the folders multiple folders this is one scenario and the second scenario what i want to discuss is how to traverse folder recursively that means inside a folder if you have multiple sub folders i should be able to traverse through that folders and try to take the data so to do that you need to use this symbol here so this while card entity slash star star if you use this it will traverse recursively inside the root folder and if you see this example here whatever you are seeing here it is trying to take this csv folder and the taxi folder inside the taxi folder since you used this kind of syntax it is going to recursively traverse all the sub folders and it will try to take the data also from there let me practically show you this let me go to the browser again and here let me go back to the sample container and inside a sample container i have a data folder and if i go inside a data folder there are employee 3 dot employee 4 and that means two employee files csv files are outside here at the root directory level and there are two sub folders as well if i go to employee info one folder so let me double click and go inside this employee one info one folder so here i have one employee file inside this employee info one folder which is employee one dot csv so right click and preview so inside this file i have totally three employees employee id 1 2 3 now let me go back let me go back to the root directory that is data folder and there is a another folder called emp info 2 let me go inside that folder and here also if you see i have employee 2.csv where employee id is 456 okay and then let me go back to the data folder we have a employee 3 and if i preview this data here we have employee id 7 and 8 and if i see the employee 4.csv file i have 9 and 10 right so that means employee id is from 1 to 10 is there in all these sub folders and these files which are available at a root directory level so i want to write a open row set function in such a way that it should take these files also inside the directory and also traverse through recursively inside this sub folders also and try to take the data so how to do that let's go back to the sql script here and here let me copy this code once again here and let's try to edit this here so inside a sample folder we want to point to the data folder and then here you should use this star star symbol so if you see this syntax i should use this star star here to do, to say to the my synapse sql to recursively traverse inside the sub folders now let me remove this slash and same thing format is csv parser version header row is true now if i execute this all the 10 10 employee ids from the multiple folders and files will come so let me hit this run button to run this query and see whether we will be able to get the data properly or not if you see the result we got employee id is 1 to 10 that means we are able to recursively traverse through the sub folders inside the data folder so let's go back to the presentation so that's it in this video guys i hope you enjoyed thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever i add videos thank you so much